been a bit of a struggle to get back to my training um, regimen. Uh, partially because I'm dealing with a knee that decided kind of randomly that it didn't want to work anymore. Uh, in the throes of having some diagnostic in imaging for that and um, the x-rays that we had done were not a great report and um, so now we're seeking more information I can't have an MRI because of the hardware that's in my knee um, so next it'll be an ultrasound um, it's looking like I'm just gonna have to finally throw in the towel on running and admittedly it's been a couple weeks of a mental struggle of the process of not only um, the injury continuing to be a limiter for me but um, aging <laughs> don't we all have that issue um, when I hurt that knee in 2007, the orthopedic that did the uh, reconstruction told me that running wasn't really going to be a thing I could do. So, um, I've gotten a lot of years out of myself doing something that an expert doctor told me I wouldn't be able to do. So, I'm in this... Um, weird place of gratitude and feeling blessed to have been able to do what I can up to this point and also kind of grieving over having to admit that it's time to retire that part. That illness that I had really, really compromised my cardiovascular conditioning and um, I've had some workouts that have been really outstanding and then some very, very poor performances and I think a lot of it just has to do with um, the damage that that thing did to my cardiovascular system and actually uh, my doctor uh, my nurse practitioner Lexi thinks that it may be connected to the inflammation stuff that's going on with my knee why I wouldn't be recovering well there's a whole host of things that have to be looked at for me right now I think it's just stress management and it has to be appropriate um, my mind will tell me how much I can do and my body will tell me how much I can do <laughs> somewhere in the middle of that is probably appropriate okay so I'm getting on the bike important metabolic process is for your body to learn how to clear lactate and high aerobic effort it's not anaerobic folks it's high aerobic effort, which means in the presence of oxygen. But it's a bit painful. It's kind of the pain cave, if you will. Um, and it's a pretty important metabolic process to put your body through. Another brief look at what that program is gonna be. 15 minute warm up, and then four intervals for two minutes at 2.15, which is about 3.8 watts per kilo for me with um, a four minute rest period. Nice, um, you know, get, grab that heart rate, pull it down to zone one. Uh, and then, then there's that 10 minute set at 145 watts, which is 2.4 watts per kilo for me, zone two.
Monday, March 11th. One month after starting antibiotics for that bacterial respiratory infection. My knee swelling, pain and range of motion, re um, that, that stuff resolved and the range of motion returned about six days ago. Been totally normal since. I have not run on it. I'm not going to until we have further imaging, ultrasound. Um, and frankly, I may never run on it again, really. We'll see how the week goes. I'm still going to be cautious. I'm still going to approach the training without really trying to stick to my calendar to the letter of the law and instead pay attention to recovery heart rate, my HRV, what my heart rate variability looks like while training, and um, from there, just a day-to-day -day assessment. But good news is I seem to be moving forward now. Snowmageddon is coming, and you can see <laughs> we're less there. I have a bet going with Scott Croner in Nebraska over or under. I think I'm going to get seven inches. He says ten. So the bet is on. If I win, he has to buy me coffee in June when we're in nationals. If he wins, I have to buy him coffee. So, as my witness, it is 6.44 p.m. Wednesday, March 13th.
two. <laughs> Don't have the legs today for two of these hills. fever was when I was 16 that I'm aware of anyway um, it took me a long time to recover from that illness I can remember quite well uh, the day it presented I was at the state swim meet for the boys and um, if I were to guess what time of year that was it was February perhaps right after Valentine's Day. Um, we had started track already, winter track uh, practices indoors. And I can remember quite well struggling to keep up with girls in the speed workouts that normally would be um, behind me. <laughs> uh, and then I was selected to run the mile at the district meet in April. Coach didn't want me to um, because she didn't feel I had deserved it. Um, gosh, I could go down that rabbit hole. But here's the thing. I was probably six to eight weeks after uh, the rheumatic fever had presented I'm going on seven weeks. I'm still struggling with recovery. Yesterday's bike ride went really poorly. Um, pulled the plug very early, seeing that I was not recovering. So I'm still in this period of training where I'm having to weigh the consequences of not training versus training, but also the consequences of trading and not recovering and what that's doing to my fitness and being very um, objective and non-emotional about the data. Uh, today I'm going to try to train a swim in my calendar and an easy bike ride. We'll see how it goes. Um, according to my watch, I need another day of recovery. If it buries me today, that means that tomorrow I'll have to obey that data and take the day off. We'll see. Tear off the roof, the king's in the house. Just get me to Jesus, I don't care how. I don't have to wait to get the healing. I got a faith without a ceiling. So tear off the roof. Kings in the house. There's power in the presence, power in the blood, power in the name of Jesus. There's power in the presence, power in the blood, power in the name of Jesus. And he has more in the hymn of his coming than the camp of the enemy. There's power in the presence, power in the Through to you, I don't care 